Hey everyone, I'm at the top of a parking structure to see if it's possible to boil water just by lifting it up a little bit in the air. So we've all seen the trick or even done the trick where if you have a cup of water submerged under the water and then lift it up above the surface, the water actually stays inside the cup. The reason this happens is because the water can't fall out of the cup because it needs something to replace that volume of water with. And there's no inlet of air, so the water can't fall out. So basically, the air pressure of the water around it is keeping the water up inside the cup. So let's look at the pressures inside this experiment. You can see that the pressure outside of the cup must be atmospheric pressure. So inside of the cup at the level of the surface of water outside the cup, you know that that point is atmospheric pressure. If you go down, it's going to increase in pressure, but that means that if you go up, it's going to decrease in pressure. So that means the higher you go inside the cup, the lower pressure it is. So by turning the cup upside down and lifting it above water, you've created a little bit of a vacuum in there. And that vacuum is what's holding the water up in there, as if you had sucked it up. And the taller your cup is, the higher that water can get in there. But the question is, is there a theoretical limit to how tall your cup could get? Instead of a cup, I'm just going to use a tube, but it's the same thing as a cup. It's just flexible and easier to maneuver. So I'm going to fill the tube completely with water and then plug up one end of it. So one end's going to be submerged and the other end is plugged up. So it's completely filled with water. And then I'm just going to lift it up. And as I lift it up, that's basically lengthening my cup. So let's see how high we can actually lift this water up above the surface and see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to clamp it shut right here. Now before we continue, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, Mel Science. If you like my channel and other experiments you've seen me do on my channel, then you'll love Mel Science Kits. One of the best ways to learn something is by doing it yourself. Their science kits bring that experience to your home. Mel Science Kits are a subscription kit that's sent to your home monthly. They have a lot of different kits available under the chemistry section or physics section or even the kids section. This is one of their kids' boxes. My kids love them and they make great Christmas presents too. You can build a simple boat like this. This would have come in useful on my can you blow your own sail experiment. I use Mel Science Kits all the time in my home, especially with my kids. They make a great Christmas present for kids, especially because it's a subscription box, so it's the gift that just keeps giving through the year. So if you want to check out Mel Science Kits, click the link in my description and type in the code ACTIONLAB for 50% off your first month. Now let's get back to our experiment. Okay, so I'm gonna start it here and then I'll hook it on here, attach it and then walk up to the next level. So each time I attach it, that's an extra five feet. Okay, up the next level. Still don't see any boiling. Up to the next level. Still don't see any boiling. Okay, so watch me lift it up here. Oh, look at all that boiling. I just hit the boiling point here. So this is as high as it goes. If I lift it higher, it's gonna boil. And it goes back down to that same spot. So you can see at the top here, there's a limit to how high the water can get. If we get any higher, it just boils more water and just puts water vapor at the top. Move it down and the level stays right there. Okay, so now watch me pick it up. Mm. 
This is actually really interesting. In the same spot, I did a different experiment where I saw how high you could suck up water through a tube. And it's actually basically the same experiment. But instead of using a vacuum chamber or my mouth to try to suck up water, all I did was plug it up and then lift it up above the level of water. So this is basically just a different way to make a vacuum inside the tube. Just plug it and then lift it high above the surface. The reason it's making that vacuum in there is because the whole weight of the water is pulling down on it. So it's pulling down on it, trying to create some space in there. But because there's no inlet in there, there's no space to make. So the pressure just drops lower and lower and lower until eventually it reaches the boiling point of water at whatever temperature that water is in the tube. So the warmer the water, the less high you're going to be able to lift it above the surface of water before you boil it. The colder your water, the higher you're going to be able to lift it. The theoretical limit to how high we could get is 33.8 feet. That's as if there was a perfect vacuum inside that tube there. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel I have where I do videos similar to this one, but I make them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.